Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Serious Sam the First Encounter on the Serious Difficulty setting. Serious Sam is a first person shooter game developed by a bunch of Croatian nerds in 2001, where you fight huge waves of monsters at once. Dealing with these monsters on Serious Difficulty requires great map knowledge, quick thinking, evasion skills, and of course a lot of shooting. This is level 1, Tempo of Hot Ship Suit. Ready for battle! Well, Sam is ready for battle, but the first level doesn't have much fighting, so too bad for him. Yeah, the first level is not very exciting. I hope this doesn't discourage you from watching the rest of the series, because it will get very exciting. Trust me. But the first level is really slow. Some kind of introduction level. And the secrets are very tedious. If you don't go for all the secrets, the map is okay. So yeah, speaking of secrets... Here's the first one, just jump on the roof here. And the secret rocket launcher. And if you go to the other side, you're gonna find some rocket ammo. And since this is serious difficulty, you will be given double ammo, so you can deal with the extra amount of monsters. So what I'm doing here is just uh, optional, so I'm doing some parkour, I'm gonna go out of bounds, because I want to show you guys something. So if you go up here, you're not supposed to be here, of course. There is a section here with something very strange. So if you shoot like seven rockets on this floor here, the floor breaks and reveals a pitch black pit. And there's nothing in there. So why is this here? I have no idea. Maybe some leftover section they were working on when they made this map. I don't know. And to speed things up, I'm just gonna rocket jump back. I don't wanna bore you guys. This map is boring enough as it is. So let's continue some secret hunting. Down here is a door you can open up, just by touching it. So let's touch. And we release the fence. And I only know two of them. I'm gonna show you guys which ones. So the guy with the moustache, or with the beard, this is Old Man Murray. I uh, don't remember exactly what it was, I think it was like a gaming forum or gaming community back in the 90s. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, google it. And the moustache, moustache guy here is Level Lord. This guy made lots of Duplicum 3D levels. And I think also in other games. I think all Duke Nukem players know him, Level Lords. So yeah, we released the fence. And if you go to the other side, there's also a door. But that one you have to break open with a rocket. You cannot simply touch it to open it up. So we shoot a rocket. And now we released Crow Team, so Crow the guys owns. who made the game. And by the way, you don't have to kill them. They do not count towards the kill counts, but I just do it for the heck of it. And fun fact. The Suri Sam skin they're using with the tank top was actually the ones um, that was used for Suri Sam Alpha. And the big head model was used for Mental, the antagonist of Suri Sam. In the alpha version. 
But they recycled the skin and the model for uh, the big heads, the fans and uh, the crow team employees. Okay, so now comes the least exciting part of this level. And that is a long walk to the corner of the desert there. There's a secret item there. And I think Crow Team knew it was boring to walk this long distance. So they spiced it up by doing this. Yep. Four biomechanoids. If I catch one rocket, I'm pretty much dead. And you can kill them consistently just by firing five rockets. Just make sure you aim high so you don't hit uh, one of their rockets and you're gonna waste a rocket. So if you grab the rocket launcher first, it's quite easy to deal with them. If you only have a pistol, then good luck. So yeah, we're almost there. And then we have to backtrack all the way back to the temple. Oof. I'm not looking forward to it, but there's a way to spice it up. So here's the secret item. And if you destroy the tree, you're gonna spawn harpies. So if you look in the top left corner, a group of harpies spawned. This optional. It's one way to make the the way back a bit more exciting. And I'm just gonna kill them with the, the colts. And there's a little trick you can do. Normally if you fire all your shots, you have this reload sequence. But if you swap your revolvers or colts before the reloading begins, you skip it and therefore increase your DPS. And now I was a bit too late. So yeah, just a little trick you can do. Still a weak weapon, even with this little trick. Damn it. Okay, rocket time. Whoa! That was a great shot. And that's all of the harpies. Okay, now we're gonna have to spawn some more monsters. We're doing some very specific uh, movements or hit some very specific triggers. I'm not sure exactly where they are, but I have a general idea. So if you go up the slope, you will trigger some uh, spawners. And also around the corner, there's gonna be three guys. Three Rocketeers. Purple shirt guys. They just shoot a projectile and that's it. They're very weak. Okay. Then also here. And up here there's a firecracker. With a red shirt. And he shoots five projectiles instead of one. And the projectiles are affected by gravity too. So they will fall down and slide across the floor towards you. And here we have a double barrel shotgun. Yeah, baby. And once again we have to do some very specific uh, movement here. Like you have to walk here or something. They will spawn these rocketeers. And also here's a trigger. See? There's nothing here. Then you do this. Suddenly there is. And I think that's all of them in this area. And now we have to do the same here. So we walk here. Or something, I don't know. I know for sure that walking here will spawn some. Yeah, here's one. And also if you grab this ammo or the armor. One of the two spawns more guys. Uh, 
Okay. I hope it's all of them. In my practice run, I missed one kill. I'm not sure how. Okay. Damn you. If all pilots hit, you can one yeah, at kill. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. The clear. But uh, he got me. He got me good. Okay, grabbing the armor here will spawn a Bomberman. He uh, shoots grenades. No, he throws grenades at you. Or bombs. And when he dies, he explodes. And look. No Rocketeer. No Rocketeer. Rocketeer. Just by grabbing the... The health uh, vial. Okay, so here's the final fight. The most exciting part of this level. Yeah, baby! Because this is all what Series 7 is all about. Now, where's the clear? Series 7 is all about crowd control, so... You have to prioritize which enemies to kill first. So this Gnar here is the least dangerous, and the, cl the clears were the most dangerous. These guys do a lot of damage if they leap into you. Alright, so that's level 1. I really hope I have all the kills. Guess we'll find out now. All the kills? Yay! 80 out of 80. So yeah, that's level 1. And I don't like it. It's a very weak first level of a game. It's. I guess if you're going for all the secrets, it is quite boring. But if you ignore the secrets, just go to the exit. It's actually not too bad. But I don't like it because of the secrets. Uh, like I said, please don't be discouraged uh, because of this level. Um, everything after this gets really good and gets really difficult. Uh, I'm gonna blow your mind how difficult it becomes. And of course, I'm gonna beat it. So uh, stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.